The question that everyone is grappling with is how to feed 9 billion by 2050. How to feed more with less, less land, less water, less natural resources. How do we move from business as usual to a system which is more efficient, more inclusive and gives higher income to the farmers, connecting them to the markets through corporates. How do we address all these challenges? How can we help problem solve together? The Transformation Leaders Network has its roots in the New Vision for Agriculture initiative at the World Economic Forum. That initiative was catalyzed by the forum in the wake of the food price crisis of 2007 and 2008. Since 2009, the New Vision for Agriculture has had the pleasure to help support 16 country-led public-private partnerships and initiatives in Africa, in Asia, and in Latin America. We've seen this opportunity to bring network members together to innovate to exchange and to put thought leadership into action. What the World Economic Forum does very well is bringing many stakeholders together in this field and create a platform in which we can talk about solutions for food security and hunger. What it also does well is not talk about farmers but also talk with farmers. Farmers are really willing to be part of this change but they need the support or the guidance of the companies that do have the market power. Government needs to address agriculture from the standpoint of understanding what its needs are and from the starting point of science and data and making data a prominent part of their decision-making process. When you introduce insurance into the scheme, the banks will be more than willing to adjust their interest rates for the benefit of the smallholder farmers. Just the need to increase investment along the whole value chain, not just on the input side, we think is very, very important. We design and market products and services, designed specifically for rural families and, and small farmers to boost their productivity and incomes. If we look at reducing food loss, we can increase smallholder farmer incomes. So smallholder farmers can get more money for what they're already producing. If someone has found a solution to a problem that you're facing, why not borrow it and use it? So that's really the spirit behind which we're bringing people together. One project that we're involved in is trying to facilitate investment among women entrepreneurs in developing countries. We know from experience that the return on investment is higher if we have a clear focus on women. If you want to really create inclusive growth in, in the Philippines, we need to trigger an economy and mainstream it to the countryside level. Innovation is the cornerstone of efforts for greater prosperity and to protect natural environment. We want to do a dramatic transformation of investment in agriculture. So being a part of this network allows us opportunities to learn and share best practices elsewhere.